So the news is, uh, I'm beginning to toy around with BSPWM. In fact, I'm thinking about moving my config files to use it by default. In fact, I think I can do that and still maintain all the great stuff with i3 and with DWM. Uh, because B BSPWM is probably the simplest window manager, but also one of the, or at least that I've used. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not a, I don't review every single window manager out there. You guys know, like this isn't, I, I know in, this, in the back of my head, I have this idea that I'm not actually a Linux YouTuber and I'm just a normal guy who happens to do videos uh, and that sort of is true. Uh, but you know, I don't try things for no reason, um, but I've tried BSPWM and I really like it. And look up there, I got Polybar back. And the reason is uh, because BSPWM is literally just the window manager. It, is, it does not have a status bar by default, so I brought back Parley Bar. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, it does not even have the ability to bind keys. Uh, you have to bind keys in an external program like the SimpleX Hotkey Daemon, which I've actually already been using because it is way better. It is, you know, light years ahead of i3's ability to bind keys. It's so much better. It can handle uh, syntax of shell syntax much better. It can handle more complex things much better. It can bind multiple keys at once in patterns and stuff like that. It's much better. So BSPWM does not have a bar, doesn't bind keys. In fact, it doesn't really have a config file. I mean, it, it has a config file, but it doesn't have like a config folder in what I mean, or not folder, uh, uh, syntax. It doesn't have syntax uh, to its config file, meaning your BSPWM RC file, which I have mine open right here, you could make it in whatever language you want because how you configure BSPWM is actually with a command BSPC. And then you say config, and then you can look at the option. Look at all this ZSH completion. That, that's already in there, that's great. Um, but you can change, you change its settings with command line commands, basically. So what that means is your BSPWM RC can be a script, it can be a shell script, it can be written in whatever language you want, where you basically uh, just give it the commands you want it to run at the beginning. Uh, and the best part is, if, since it's a, just a normal script, you can have it, you can actually script in it. You can have ifs, you can have case statements, all the annoyances I've had over the past whenever, uh, you know, is the fact that you know, when people installed my i3 setup on their computers and they're like, oh, this doesn't work, my monitors are different, stuff like that. Well, now I can actually build that stuff right into the config file because the config file is just a script. So it can easily handle different ifs and ifs and else's and stuff like that. Uh, so that that's really nice. Now, of course, you can do stuff like that in i3. I know, I know, you can you can edit i3 sort of real time depending on how you do it. Um, but BSPWM is built for it to be that way, and it, it's very nice that you can do that. Um, as I said, it does not have a status bar. Um, I'm using my po my old Polybar config that everyone misses from years ago. I mean, it wasn't it was barely my. I I don't even remember remember where I got it from. It might have been just like the Polybar GitHub or something like that. But I've actually started adding some stuff in, you know, you got little, the window name up here, stuff like that. I mean, stuff that's already in there. I did add a couple of my own modules, uh, got a mo wizard, mo wizard module. Um, and of course, all this is based on S X resources, colors and stuff like that. Um, but just in general, BSPWM is nice because again, all the different parts, it's, you know, Unix philosophy, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Because all of the different parts, they're not built into the window manager. They're different programs running, doing their own one thing and all doing it well. And BSPWM is nice because I, one of the sweet things about it, uh, you can have commands that mimic the things that both i3 and DWM have. So I can bind pretty much anything. I could bind, uh, you know, pretty complex actions to imitate the master and slave uh, way that DWM works, but still having the sort of i3 like defaults of uh, you know BSPWM, and it's actually nicer. It has the uh, quote unquote Fib Fibonacci layout by default, which isn't really Fibonacci. It's supposed to tour. It's supposed to be a spiral if it's Fibonacci, but uh, you know whatever. Um, so this is not a tutorial video, of course, on BSPWM. I'm gonna put my config files as I edit them on GitHub. But uh, you, you can probably, uh, really what I'm doing this for is one thing I've learned on YouTube 
is if you're going to do a video on something, you might as well tell people that you're using it first and then hear their advice or even their dumb advice because that's going to be better than you doing a video and then someone mentioning, oh, you should have talked about this and you're like, oh, dang, I should have forgot that or shouldn't have forgotten that. Um, so I'm looking, if anyone has any recommendations for BSPWM, please uh, give them. I know this is a lesser used window manager, but I, I know also that a lot of um, uh, other uh, sort of Linux-like channels have been using, have, have at least used uh, BSPWM. So you can probably look up on YouTube just vi different videos on it. Uh, but a lot of the stuff, I will say, the stuff that I'm looking for, uh, I got to go a little deeper. So that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, anyway, that, that's about it for this. Uh, this is just a preview, uh, just to say that I'm going to use this. Please give me any advice you have, and I'll see you guys next time.